The only difference between the producer anymore and like the artist artist is that I literally have the patience to deal with this, whereas the artist is just like, I'm over it, gonna go be a superstar. But that's what makes me a producer and not like the rapper or the singer or whatever. <laughs> A lot of the time I use this thing to capture accidents just as I'm jogging through sounds. So this thing just captures everything on a three minute buffer. And so if something happened on accident, I can just go back to the tape. I think it's probably here. Yeah, that. Try not to let anything go to waste. Even accidents, shit. Yeah, Basically, um, what Cthulhu does if I don't want to get my theory chops on and have to finger all the chords out, it's got a, a preset of chords that I've essentially pre-selected. Um, some of them I've scrubbed from box songs, some I've scrubbed from R&B songs, and basically I've, ma I've mapped them all to a different key. And they're all set to a different chord interval, so it allows me to create chord progressions without having to actually physically go through fingering them all. Although I could, it's a little bit more immediate to literally hit a, hear a complete voicing with all five notes on one press, you know? So I do that to kind of cut corners, mostly when I'm in the studio, because artists have no time. <laughs> a lot of the time, um, it's easier for me to deal with the audio files rather than with MIDI. So um, I print a lot of what I'm doing down to audio, and then I deal with the hard numbers uh, rather than trying to be a MIDI editor. 